It's no secret how much in love I am with full manual passing after I made the switch this past summer. Whether it's the way it allows you to use the full range of the power bar when you spot a striker making a run on the opposite end of the pitch, or the way it allows for a more efficient switching of play from one side to the other, or believe it or not, the way you can use a light manual pass defensively instead of a dangerous tackle, like here with Gomez pushing the ball to Allison, who thanks him for this perfect interception. Just make sure it's a light tap, otherwise this might happen. But yeah, there's no going back to the floaty assisted shooting after experiencing just how straight my shots are with manual controls. Scripting is much less of an issue now, because it's all on me when I miss the target, and when I don't, it feels a ton better because it was all me. And while long range manual curlers remain to be the hardest goals to score on full manual, I feel I've conquered the second most difficult full manual play, which was full manual crossing and headers. Can I trust you? But if you've been following this channel, I'm sure it's no secret that I've had a big problem with corners. Specifically, getting manual headers off corners not to drift over the crossbar. Well now, I'm happy to report that I finally figured it out, and the floodgates are wide open. This is a mix of several methods I've seen on YouTube, but it's what works the best for full manual controls. So let's rewind here. You first push left on the direction pad, and select dash. This moves your players away from the goal, which makes them charge forward when you hit the corner. Then you want to aim around the corner of the 6th yard box, preferably closer to the goal. The secret here is a powerful delivery of the ball into the danger zone, by filling the entire power bar while pointing your left stick upwards. The ball is hit too hard that a keeper doesn't have time to come out to block it, even if it's hit close to the goal. Holding the left stick upwards is what keeps the ball from floating far beyond the danger zone, which isn't always the worst thing. And as a final touch, after filling the power bar with the left stick pointing upwards, hit L1 and move the right stick, which will give you control over one of your players. And don't worry, the cursor will shift to the closest player to the ball. And from this point on, it's all about how you aim your header, and how good the coverage is. So long as you don't let go of the upward stick too early, which would lead to this, your manual corner headers will always cause problems. Oh, and you can still score manual headers off conventional corners. So that's it for now, and I'll see you after the break. I have to thank everyone who helped save the channel. The only way I could was by sharing my mod folders in an all-in-one copy-paste format. Now again, these mods are all free individually, and there are many free all-inclusive mods like Virtua Red and Smokes Patch, which I don't use, but they're pretty easy to install. I'm still putting together the big mod video, so sit tight and I'll see you in the next one.